it's true that Japan is now vaccinating uh, quite rapidly and it, it is on track to meet the targets. Uh, but that said, obviously, the, the initial approval, appro approval process of the vaccines was very slow. Uh, it, it, Japan has a system where they, they mandate local trials first, and that uh, took quite long to uh, for the vaccines to actually become approved. And that's why Japan is is lagging other countries by several months. That said, obviously, that, that reflects the, the cautious attitude of, of Japanese to vaccines. I'm not sure if, if, his, if his approval rating would have benefited much if he had uh, skipped the usual approval process and uh, just given them an emergency authorization. That might have uh, raised concerns about the safety. So I think what he's done is, is right, and uh, Japan should still be able to vaccinate uh, quite rapidly over the next few months. Certainly the general mood of the Japanese uh, individual and consumer is being felt in the fact that spending numbers, consumption numbers in Japan have been lagging other parts of the economy such as export orders and manufacturing. At what point do you think that consumption will be able to catch up and is it very closely correlated to the vaccination numbers? Yes. Uh, it's, it's obviously very difficult to say at this stage simply because we have a another virus uh, wave forming, and this time it's been triggered by the, the Delta variant. Uh, so probably consumers will remain quite cautious for now. That said, we still think that by the end of this quarter, at the very latest, uh, the, the elderly will have been vaccinated fully. And by then, uh, restrictions on activity should start to get eased. Uh, so by then, you should see some rebound in, in activity, even if overall case numbers remain uh, pretty high, because we're already seeing some early signs that hospitalizations are not picking up the way they did during previous virus waves, and the number of deaths remains uh, relatively low.